one of the most sought after topics for TLE is the easy application of the Ohm's Law. For a better understanding of how to use this formulae, we have here our resident CNL correspondent and a cum laude from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Mr. Ronel Dichoso. So, ibibigay ko sa inyo ngayon yung simplified version ng law na ito na proposed ni George Simon Ohm. So, na-develop ang law na ito to explain the relationship between the three qualities of electricity, which are the current, voltage, and resistance. Current is directly proportional to voltage. Ibig sabihin, kung ano mangyari kay voltage, ay hindi mangyari kay current. Pag tumaas si voltage, tataas din si current. Pag bumaba naman si voltage, bababa din si current. At the same time, current is directly proportional to voltage but inversely proportional to the resistance. Ibig sabihin, si resistance at si current merong indirect relationship. Pag sinabing inversely, kung ano yung nangyayari sa isa, kabaligtaran naman ang nangyayari sa isa. So pag tumaas si resistance, bababa si current. Pero kapag bumaba naman si resistance, tataas naman si current. So, para mas mabilis nating matandaan ang relationship between the three qualities using the Ohm's Law, mag-drawing tayo ng CISO. Sa kabilang side, nandito si current and si voltage. Then, sa kabilang side naman, nandito si resistance. So, kung makikita nyo, nasa taas si voltage, nasa taas din si current. And then, sabi natin kanina, si current is inversely proportional kay resistance. So, dito, nasa taas si current, nasa baba si resistance. So, balik rin natin. Ayan. So, si current at si voltage bumaba dahil may direct relationship sila. At the same time, tumaas naman si resistance. To discuss the formula of Ohm's Law para madali din natin maintindihan, gamitin natin yung tinatawag natin magic triangle. So, ayan. So, sa magic triangle na ito, makikita nyo may horizontal line and then may vertical line. Ibig sabihin lang ng horizontal line, tandaan nyo, division yon. Then, yung vertical line, ibig sabihin yun, multiplication. So, sa taas ng triangle, laging nandun si voltage. So, sulat nyo kagad V. So, para makuha yung voltage, takpan lang natin yung V na nasa taas ng triangle. So, may naiwan na vertical line. So, sabi natin kanina, yung vertical line is multiplication. So, ibig sabihin, para makuha yung voltage, i-multiply natin yung value ng current at value ng resistance. So, yung formula ng voltage is equals to V is equals to I times R. Paano naman natin makukuha yung value ng current? So, ganun din. Takpan natin yung I, which is the symbol of resistance. So, may iwan si V and R. So, between V and R, may horizontal line. So, yung horizontal line, sabi natin kanina, symbolizes division. So, ibig sabihin, current is equals to voltage divided by R. Or I is equals to V over R. So, last, paano naman natin makukuha si resistance? Takpan lang natin yung R. So, may iwan si V and I. Between V and I, may horizontal line, which meaning to say division. So, para makuha yung resistance, ibig sabihin, li-divide natin yung value ng voltage kay current. So, resistance is equals to voltage divided by current. Or R is equals to V over I. I am Ronel Dichoso for CBRC News Live. Let us know about the topics you want us to feature and comment them below. For the hottest hacks and tricks for the board exam, don't forget to like our official CNL page and tune in daily at 7 p.m. only here on CBRC News Live. We ask so you may know. We feature so you may appreciate. We inform so you may decide. We balance so you may judge. I'm Joy Zeranara and this is CBRC News Live FYI. Good evening. CBRC Manila, the main branch of the Carl Balita Review Center, located at with these contact numbers. CBRC Fairview, located at with these contact numbers. CBRC Tanay, located at with these contact numbers.